Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive. Those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, we thank you for this evening, for gathering us together in your mighty name. Yeah, can you. you hear me, Brother Jos? Yes, yes. I, I can't hear you. Are you loud? I am loud. I can hear me, no, Jude? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So thank you, Father, for uh, this amazing uh, opportunity that you've given to us. Thank you for the graces that you have given to us. Thank you for this, uh, for uh, gathering us together. We make all the prayer for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this, uh, uh, the season six that we had. I thank you that you have been with us. And thank you for your word and your spirit. And Lord, we thank you for all that you have done in each one, each one's life. And all that is going to happen in the coming days and the coming months and years, Lord. Dear Lord, I give this uh, particular session into your hands. Uh, Lord, we, we pray to you and ask you to heal the wounds of our heart, wounds of our life, wounds of our generation, wounds of unfaithfulness, Lord. Heal. We ask you to heal us, Lord. Lord, all things are possible with you and you greatly desire to heal us. And that is why we thank you, Lord. We thank you for all the miracles that is going to happen now, all that healing that is going to take place today. Lord, I thank you very much, Lord. I thank you very much in Jesus' name. And I also pray for those who will be watching through the YouTube. Heal their wounds also, Lord. Lord, I pray this in the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's all pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Father, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Cover us with the blood of your Son. Cover us with the blood of your Son. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Build a wall of fire around us. Build a wall of fire around us. Fire around us. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your angels encamp around us day and night. Let the angels encamp around us day and night. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, welcome you. Welcome you. Help us. Help us. Heal us. Heal us. Heavenly Mother, pray for us. Heavenly Mother, pray for us. Pray for us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today we'll be having a good time because I am sure the Lord is going to heal us. Because since yesterday, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit has been bringing into mind uh, the areas that we need to pray. And uh, so that I, it has never happened to me before. We have conducted in the healing. Uh, um, press and all many times for many people, but never we get it so early, you know. So that, that it shows that God desires to heal us. God is love, God is the healer, and He desires to heal us. And that's what I think and uh, what I sense. He really desires to heal you. So, yesterday in the book of Revelation, chapter 8, verses uh, 1 and 2. Uh, verses 1, I remember the, in the end of the prayer, the Holy Spirit inspired me to read it. I'm just reading it out. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Now, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. It looks that heaven is a place with a lot of hustle and bustle. A lot of sound, praise and worship, a lot of activities are there. And suddenly, heaven becomes silent. Now, we are not sure how it happened, but uh, in, the, in the word uh, Zachariah, in the book of Zachariah, chapter 2, verses 13 says, Be silent, all people, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from his holy place. Be silent, all people, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. So we are not very exactly sure why maybe the Holy Spirit moved in such a direction that all became silent. Or maybe as we read in Zechariah chapter 2, verses 13, that the Lord roused himself when he stood up. Everybody became silent. So I was inspired by this, you know. So I said, it's a good idea. So what I did after the class was over here, I just went down, sat down for half an hour. 
just thinking about the lord i just relaxed and i just sat down you know and it went half an hour past i adjusted my uh, mobile phone the timer so that you don't have to keep looking at time so uh, so i found it's very interesting for half an hour i just simply sat down and it was that it was i did not see any supernatural things but after i came out of it i found lot of uh, heaviness has left my mind lot of pressure that was holding some kind of pressure was there that is all left so what i'm learning now is that when we spend time like this sitting in the presence of the lord lot of healing should take place lot of healing should take place. and it's very good to sit in silence for half an hour because revelation chapter 8 verses 2 says so that they became silent for half an hour a uh, brother jos can we go till 6:30 in any any time between 15 to 6:30 we can stop 6:30 we should stop yeah yeah any time between 6:00 to 6:30 we will stop okay. that is one second thing i just want to tell you all that normally when we when we have inner healing classes and all i mean prayer and all we, we don't pray traditionally traditional sense is now we know that we have all attended the basic retreats many times and we know that you know in the normal in the starting of the retreat they start off like this starting from the mother's womb you know and like that they keep on praying then for married marriage uh, this that and all so many things are prayed you know so that is normally it is done in many of the most of the centers but one thing that holy spirit inspired me was to pray according to holy spirit's inspiration so we won't we don't go systematically we have all gone through that uh, uh, that that particular method you know of in a reeling where systematically we have kept our hearts and minds open uh, and as as the leader someone was leading uh, let us we 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 followed through but here uh, as the holy spirit inspires so and i found that when we stand on the stage when the time of in a reeling the holy spirit will tell the areas to pray very clearly the areas will come so one by one we will be praying that is what the and uh, that is what we will be doing one by one one by one we will be praying what was the holy spirit reveals so when he finishes we will end and after we finish praying we we'll like i will give some time to you use the word of knowledge and ask the holy spirit what are you what have you done here what are you doing here and as he reveals to you you can share it so i'm sure a lot of uh, messages will come uh, connected with inner healing and you can see uh, if there is other messages also you can share but mostly it will come on in a healing it will come so that you will also learn how to use the your charisms so there's a beautiful opportunity here where you can share then the next point is how are we going to pray now for example if you are going we are uh, i'll be leading and i'll be saying one intention so as soon as i say the intention everybody has to keep your eyes closed and nobody is there to watch everybody has to keep your eyes closed and uh, just uh, be seated uh, relax you know no longer any tension when people used to come to pray at home i used to tell them just to please relax you know so no need of taking up much attention and all just simply relax in the presence of the lord where two or three are gathered in his name is present in the midst of us and we are receiving the holy covenant every day the body and blood of christ is within us even if you are not received you six months you have received if there are places some there are places in north india where it, we cannot go for mass regularly so all those who have received six months ago also the holy the body and blood of christ is within you whether you are in saudi arabia or wherever you are when we have received the holy covenant from that day onwards the holy covenant is within you so that is something very beautiful that we have to understand so uh, so the that, that so as soon as i say one Uh, we we'll, let's pray for those who are sad. So we'll all we'll all praise the Lord for a minute, not more than don't go beyond a minute. And all of us uh, just uh, praise God, pray in tongues, just praise God, and then we we'll calm down. After you calm down, again as the Holy Spirit inspires, I will tell the second intention. So as soon as we, then again we start praising and pray, praying. So like that we we'll continue. So one scripture I want to read, which is the very very foundation of all that we are doing, that is in Isaiah. I I say, fifty-three verses four and five. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, 
struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole. And by his bruises, we are healed. That is our foundation. What is the foundation? He has borne our infirmities. He has carried our diseases upon his body. He was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, made us complete. And by his bruises, we are healed. So that, that is the foundation. Scripture is uh, Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. Verses 4 and 5. So while, while the prayer is going on, tears might come out of your eyes. Let it come. Let it flow. Then let it flow. The Lord is moving right now. Started moving already. So if the tears are flowing out, let it flow. So let, let the healings happen. This is the base by which we, we, this is the reason why we pray. This is the reason why we why we pray. And here again, uh, Isaiah 61, the Lord says that he will give us oil of gladness instead of mourning. He will comfort those who mourn and he will give the oil of gladness to those who are mourning. And those who have a faint spirit, he will give a mantle of praise. So that is what the anointing of Jesus does in our life. The reason why we pray is because that is what the word of God tells us. This is the foundation. And on this is the healing ministry established. So all that healing that will take place comes from the death of Jesus Christ. All that healing that is taking place will come from the wounds of Jesus Christ. And all that healing that will take place will come from the Eucharistic Lord within us. All that healing that will take place, the Holy Spirit will work among us. He will send his word and heal. He knows how to do. How to do it. He knows it. So because he has inspired, so we should be very confident that uh, we, we will see a lot of healing today. So starting, uh, we are going to spend about uh, uh, 10 minutes praising the Lord. Don't go beyond 10 minutes. Okay, well, when I say let's stop, we should stop. And after that, we'll start to pray. So 10 minutes, let's praise God for the presence of God to descend among us. And uh, don't get distracted, okay? I am many are started feeling the presence of the Lord. And uh, we'll just uh, give just a praise and worship the Lord for 10 minutes. Everybody, uh, unmute, open your mouth and uh, pray in tongues, praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, <laughs> Hallelujah. 
surrender everything, surrender. There are some areas, some of you are coming to surrender something to the Lord. There is some area the Lord wanted you to surrender. Since a long time, he has been impressing in your mind. And many times you are acting as if you don't know. And the Lord is saying you to surrender that right now into the hands of the Lord. Surrender your family, the house you are staying, surrender, all those things. So right now we are going to pray for uh, the inner roots of sadness. The Holy Spirit has revealed to pray for the inner roots of sad various kinds of sadness. Unful sadness of unfulfilled desires. So various kinds of sadness are there. Now we are going to pray. So everybody just raise your hands, both your hands. And yes, we are going to praise God for a minute. Asking the healing to flow right now. Healing the sadness and replacing it with joy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody open your mouth, open your mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is so healing right now. All the areas of sadness 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 right now. Ya <laughs> I will pray for the areas of unforgiveness. The Lord has revealed that there are a lot of unforgiveness inside us. Lot of resentment, uh, little little resentments, lot of bitterness, you know. You feel bitter when you think about certain situation that has taken past, taken place in your life. So um, uh, that, that area is a lot of unforgiveness are there. You know that importance of forgiveness, but you're not forgiving. That wounds and all are there inside us that has come from past experience. So we'll all uh, lift up both the hands and praise the Lord for a minute, and then we'll pause. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, <laughs> la <laughs> Everybody raise your hands and now we know the Holy Spirit is revealing to pray for unfulfilled desires that has come from the time when you were in school. You wanted a pencil, somebody wanted a particular pencil you did not get. That is one area where you have to be healed. Like there are many areas, you know, a lot of unfulfilled desires have come 
when you were in high school, uh, there are a lot of unfulfilled desires, you know. Sometimes you might wanted to marry some person, you were in love with some person, you were not able to get married. That, that is again unfulfilled desire. So a lot of you, when you're in high school, you were, you, were, you were interested in some kind of boy and it, it did not work out. That, that is an area of healing. So all that areas the Lord has to heal. So just raise, everybody raise your hands. Raise your hands and pray that the Lord will heal every unfulfilled desires within us. that somebody put up some complaint put up some complaint against us and that one wound is remaining in us the Lord is wanting to heal that area so let's all raise our hands and pray Hallelujah, <laughs> and now we are going to pray for this area that uh, we have been hurt by words, words of teachers, words of neighbors, words of in-laws, words from husband and wife, and some of the children also, they have been rough, and words we have been hurt, a lot of words are there inside. Uh, that has caused the words. They're like arrows on our, in our soul. The Lord will heal that wounds, and remove that arrow and heal you and release the strength inside you. So let's all raise our hands and pray. Hallelujah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord. Praise your heart. We surrender our mother in law to the hands of the Lord. And anybody who has been hurt by the mother in law, the Lord is asking not to forgive and set yourself free. And we surrender our husbands in the hands of the Lord. Uh, there are words of husband that have caused a lot of fear, a lot of bondages in our life. And, and, and those areas we need to be healed. And then, then there are areas where wives have caused trust in our heart. So all husbands just surrender this into the hands of the Lord. And many times wives are not, an understand, not understanding us. You know, that, that complaint we had. And that you know in within us is there also. So these areas we are going to pray right now. And, and, and there are wives here who have been hurt very badly, very badly by husband's behaviors, you know. So let us pray right now. The family set up, the Lord will heal. And especially those who are by children also. So let us all pray. The Lord will heal that areas. Hallelujah. 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 Inferiority complex. There's a lot of inferiority complexes there within us. Maybe because of color, height, education, background, there, the Lord wants to heal that infinity complexity within us. So let's all raise both the hands and, and <coughs> let us pray those areas where we have been sexually abused, sexually abused, and a lot of sexual thoughts come in our mind. And some, there is some lack of self-control in some areas. And some memories keep coming. So the Lord wants to give that area. So let's raise both the hands and pray. 
Now we are going to pray for fears. There are various kinds of fears that are troubling us. Fear of people, no? Fear of people is there. A lot of fears are there. Fear of the unknown. Then I see somebody is following you. So all kind of fears that the Lord wants to heal. So we'll all raise up both the hands. Everybody raise your hands. Touch your roof. And let's all uh, praise the Lord and ask the Lord to heal us from all our fears. Hallelujah, 
The Lord is showing laziness, no? Laziness to kneel down, to raise hands and pray, to bow down, to stand and pray. When laziness is there, the Lord wants to heal. And another area the Lord wants to heal is desire for certain food. Certain food, too much of desire for certain food. That also the Lord wants to heal. So let's raise our hands and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sometimes when people have argued with us, we have been hurt. So this is an area the Lord wants us to pray. Let's raise both the hands and pray. Hallelujah. Jesus, 
with the sexual life in married life so lack of satisfaction so that's one area of healing it's not the situation is not the reason we need to heal in that area and we also need to will pray now for the past life of unfaithfulness towards god so that the both the areas we will pray Let us pray for all the inner wounds of the past generation to be healed. Every inner wound in the past generation to be healed. Let us all raise our hands and pray. Thank <laughs> you. Let us pray for the inner roots of our past, our wife, our children, our brother, sister, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, our relations, our neighbors, our colleagues, our parish priest, and our friends. No, bring them into into our mind. And as we pray, the Lord will heal. The Lord is going to heal a lot of inner roots among children. So just keep bring the, all of them in your mind and just raise both your hands and pray. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
and we'll just wait the lord is revealing anything else or not or we'll continue to pray for the word of knowledge to be activated the lord is giving a message the lord is healing uh, many of you all from various kinds of fears uh, one person is afraid of a neighbor uh, that person is thinking that uh, that neighbor has done some witchcraft and the lord is setting you free from that kind of fear and lord is touching and healing an alcoholic someone who is addicted to alcohol the lord is healing and the lord is healing someone a fear of horse a fear of horses and fear of animals no the lord is healing the lord is healing someone someone somebody has a well in their property the well is very deep you know so that that fear of deep well the lord is healing amen the lord is healing the fear of gun somebody is there who is having a fear of gun of course we all have to be afraid of gun when it is in hands of a wrong person but when you think about a gun when you see a gun when you see a picture of one fear is there so the lord is healing that and the lord is healing the fear of driving the lord is healing the lord is healing the fear of failure and anybody else you can share you can keep sharing one by one the lord is removing heaviness from the head you know some people are having lot of used to have lot of heaviness lord is delivering you delivering three persons from the heaviness of the head any any anybody can share you can share we ask the holy spirit he will reveal somebody is uh, having a fear of water and this person must have uh, uh, have an experience of um, something must have happened in the past uh, uh, regarding drowning so this person is fear of water so uh, now god is healing this person the lord is giving someone a, a someone experience of being filled with love and then the lord is giving that person to make a decision based on the love and decision that person the lord is giving the grace to make a decision any anyone can share or the word of knowledge is there you can ask the holy spirit what holy spirit is doing and as you sense you can share uh the lord is healing um, almost 12 people with uh, you know people who have suffered from childhood trauma and especially one person who suffered uh, some who faced some incident in classroom i also got the image of that pencil uh, which brother shared in the beginning um and um, like there's a somebody who has gone through divorce and heartbreak the lord is healing that pain and yeah, be, be, be louder be louder be louder yeah and there are two people who are uh, you know addicted to drinking uh, so the lord is also touching these people and someone has had a bad incident, uh, experience in a ship or a boat uh, the lord is also healing this person and there somebody who's 
worried about a very sick child. Um, so the Lord is interfering uh, in that person's life. And if there's somebody with uh, some kind of allergy, some metal, metal allergy, probably jewelry, uh, the Lord is also healing this person. And there are also uh, several other um, healings happening, pain in the heels, knee pain, some eye condition, and one childless couple, uh, somebody is praying for a childless couple. This couple is being blessed. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting now. Yeah, if it is told by, by one person or some other problem, if you get a message, you can repeat it also. So that will be also nice, so many of them will get confirmed, you know. And brother, also, um, message the Lord is... Uh healing many people who are having difficulty in trusting the Lord, in having uh, faith, you know, the conviction that the Lord is with them, the Lord is right now strengthening their faith. Many yeah. people are receiving this gift of faith, you know, the gift of conviction that the Lord is with them. Uh, also, the Lord is uh, giving grace to many people of trusting their loved ones because there is a lot of uh, uh, you know the insecurities in the families so Lord is giving this gift to trust your loved ones and uh, also the fear of intimacy between married couples which were there many were having fear of intimacy the Lord is right now blessing them with the gift of intimacy. Praise the Lord. The Lord is setting two persons free from some bondages. They were not able to pray and now the Lord is setting them free to pray. Any, anybody else you can share, keep sharing, keep asking. And here's the Lord. The Lord is uh, healing uh, the fear of heights and of uh, and also fear of uh, stage fear and there's a wound in the ankle god god is healing this person the wounds also uh, we have got i've got it here also wounds some wounds that has not been dried the lord is healing knee pain allergy headache severe headache Uh, the Lord is touching an elderly person here um, and I also got an image of the Blessed Mother crushing the head of the serpent. Yeah. Somebody had an experience of Mother Mary embracing uh, the person, you know, so that kind of love from the, we can, one message also is there. Like any, any, anybody else can share, you can share, keep sharing. Yes, a person uh... Suffering with asthma and God is healing this person. Praise the Lord. The Lord is um, healing many people who have got uh, inner wounds due to physical illness. So I sense the Lord healing many people due to that because of sickness. We thank and praise the Lord. I think the Lord is healing uh, someone who is having the, fe uh, the feeling of loneliness. Uh, God is touching in this area. And I saw an image of a merry-go-round, uh, uh, the, the ones where the small children play. So there must be an incident uh, you know, related to it because of which this person has got a motion phobia. Uh, you know, when, it, when the person is not able to uh, play or you know, think of playing in this uh, merry-go-round, this image was very clear. Uh, and uh, um, also, um, I, I saw some colors. So somebody with uh, somebody having uh, a, 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 you know a, a inferiority complex because of color. Um, I saw colors, and also the crowd, uh, brother. Even I got that thing. Some people have got fear of a crowd. You know, other people mingling with other people. That is uh, one area that God is uh, touching. And horses, um, I too saw, brother. And uh, I also saw in. Sex, uh, actually, maybe some people have uh, got an allergy or I don't know, uh, some kind of uh, feeling towards insects, particularly I saw cockroach. Thank you, Jesus. 
My daughter has a fear of cockroach. Yes, I've been praying for her. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Too. The Lord is touching someone very powerfully. The Lord has touched someone very, very powerfully. And Lord is anointing some person to pray rosary more and intercessory prayer, you know, to pray more. The Lord is healing of a repeated failure, you know. A lot of time failing many times that the wound is there inside. The Lord is healing. Brother, I was praying for along with others. I was praying for my son. Be, 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 be louder, be louder. Brother, my son-in-law has a problem in his stomach and he is having very tension. And he, I was all feeling, I was praying for him also. And then Can't he, hear, and then brother. Yeah, yeah. Can you just bring the phone microphone towards your mouth? Uh, brother, my son-in-law has a problem in his stomach and he's very tense there. Uh, he's uh, having very fear of uh, cancer or uh, some, some sort of such fear. I was praying for him also along with the other subject. And now I trust that the God has healed him. He's healing him. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a person. There is a person uh, who has the desire to always has the desire to steal something. Uh, so God is here in this area. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I feel some people feel with tightness in their chest and they are feeling loosened and they're feeling free after the prayer. The Lord is feeling some sadness, you know, some deep sadness and releasing some kind of joy and peace into us. Somebody who has got a fear of uh, heavy downpour, heavy rains, the sound of heavy rains, and especially when it gets dark because of heavy rains, uh, there is a flashback which is coming to that person's mind. God is healing that person. There is a person who has the fear of balloons. God is healing this person. There is a, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Keep saying, keep saying. There is a person uh, with stammering. And God is healing this person. Lord is healing some confusions in our mind, you know. Some confusions the Lord is healing. I think also uh, people have allergy to some food. Maybe brinjal. I saw this image again. So allergy towards some food also is getting healed. So we will end now uh, this session and we'll just speak a few minutes and then we'll wind up. Brother Jos? Yeah. Uh, so thank you, brother. It has been... Yeah, yeah. And uh, just I want to remind you all, just be at peace today, this evening. And don't talk too much this evening. Don't get too much involved with mobile phone and TV this evening. And just relax. Do your activity and not talk what is necessary and take rest. Sometimes when sleeping also, Lord will continue the healing. So that yeah. we have to remember. And continue to walk with the Holy Spirit, have a relationship with Him. And I think the prayers that I have, we have sent, a prayers with the Holy Spirit, pray every day, use it every day. And grow in the fellowship. And I think we will meet in November. God bless you all. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so this weekend is a long weekend. Uh, so we have uh, tomorrow and day after, we have uh, uh, the translation talk. And the topic is about abs absolute faith. Yeah, there is, uh, there is a very interesting talk. Uh, we have heard about faith, uh, but uh, we should uh, we will learn what is absolute faith. Uh, something which uh, I find it uh, very interesting and I would like to share with you all. That is Saturday or Sunday. And Monday, uh, Monday is the 31st of October. So we are having uh, a special session on how to avoid the purgatory by Father Johnson. 
Father Johnson, uh, the Somascan priest, our uh, spiritual director, he is going to take the session on how to avoid uh, purgatory because on 1st of 2nd of uh, November is the All Souls Day. So it is very important this month of November we uh, have, uh, we keep a special devotion to all the departed soul. Now, uh, do we need to go to go through purgatory to reach heaven? Uh, you know, it is not required. That is not God's intention. God's intention is that we all reach heaven quickly. So, uh, how can we, uh, you know, lead a holy life, avoiding purgatory? What is church's teaching? How can we uh, help the souls in purgatory? So, these are the sessions that uh, we are going to have uh, on um, uh, Monday. So, Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will talk about the talk about absolute faith. We we'll learn about absolute faith. Uh, and uh, Monday, we uh, learn about uh, the purgatory. On Tuesday to Saturday, uh, we have uh, the uh, Gospel of Luke uh, Bible study. Gospel of Luke for Brother Luke is Brother <laughs> Raghu is going to come. Uh, and uh, that is for the next week. So the four more uh, schedule of Brother Anthony will be announced uh, in season seven. I'll keep you all posted in case if anyone joining for the first time today, Please uh, send me a message, a WhatsApp message. Uh, I would like to uh, include you in the mailing uh, list so that uh, you can uh, get uh, messages uh, as and when I post. So my number is 9686681391. So that is from uh, our side for this evening. And uh, thank you for uh, all your participation because of you. This uh, active, this Bible study is very, very active. You know, 50 of us coming together every day, it is a, such a blessing. Somebody was telling it is like this, uh, you know, uh, Jesus multiplied uh, five breads and, uh, you know, five breads to 5,000 people. So it was overflowing. That is what is happening in this Bible study. It's the word of God is overflowing. And also wanted to uh, share uh, some thought that is running through a um, uh, few of us, uh, which is not yet announced, uh, but then... There is a conference uh, which we are planning, a uh, physical conference, a women's conference, uh, which we are planning uh, in the coming months. I wanted you to keep in mind and also in prayer, if Lord willing, we will uh, be able to uh, announce it uh, to a larger audience. So thank you. God bless you. Uh, may God lead you, continue to lead you all and uh, be fruitful. Uh, have a beautiful evening. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you.